Yo, what's up guys? We got Pokeaim here with the Pokemon Spotlight. This time we're going to be featuring Sylveon. Now, Sylveon is one of the best cleric Pokemon in UU. Uh, being fairy type, it has some beautiful resistances and an immunity to dragon, which is amazing. But uh, being resistant to dark and fighting is ridiculous in a tier with Pokemon like Infernape, Hydreigon, for example. Like this thing hardwalls Hydreigon unless it's Z-Belch, uh, Latias, and whatnot can be a fine wish passer. Uh, Pixelate means that it actually has a pretty strong move in Hyper Voice uh, being boosted and whatnot. And honestly, the main drawback is that it, even with max defense investment, it's still relatively um, frail on the Fizz Def side, uh, just because base 65 defense is not much. And it also gets set up on pretty easily by Pokemon it's supposed to beat. For example, Combine Latias with Roos does beat uh, Sylveon unless Sylveon ends up critting it. Though Combine Sylveon can break through it a little bit easier, of course it has to worry about Size Shock. And then when you have Pokemon in the tier like Scizor running around, uh, Sylveon still does its job because it forces a lot of switches, it can just wish past to opposing members. But yeah, we have our first team right here, this will be probably the most standard Sylveon we have right now, of Wish, um, Protect, Heal Bell, just standard Cleric uh, with Mega Aggron as well as uh, SD Breloom. Um, Double Dance Gliscor, which is interesting. Then we have Scarf Lottie and Shuckaberry uh, Volcanion. I like this because it gets rid of opposing Gliscor. Uh, with Defog, by the way, that's really cool. So, the team looks really nice. Excited to use it. And hopefully we can get some good games. I think we're pretty high up on the ladder now, unfortunately. I say unfortunately because like now the games are going to take forever. Uh, well, number 36, that's not... That's Piff. What the hell am I saying? I'm number 53. Okay, I mean, this is still pretty decently high on the ladder. Um... Hurt me, please. What the hell? Why is that guy number one? But yeah, we have some really cool Sylveons coming out. I, I got some Curse ones. Uh, I got some Z-Yon ones, which I believe will, uh, if it's pixelate boosted, I can use my Ferium Z with it still and uh, get my speed boost. I mean, I could also use Normalium Z if that doesn't work. But all right, we got a game. A uh, really cool team. I like the Steelix on his side and Decidueye. Big fan of both. Hmm. Doesn't like aggro much. Dual Dance. Uh, Glide score is amazing in this game. Hates aggro actually. I'm gonna lead off with it because it, it it deals really well with his squad. Um, lead Steelix, which is okay. Uh, I don't have Roost on my mod. In fact, I don't like Steelix at all. Uh, but I'll go to my rocks anyway. I want to pressure the Hydreigon and try and put him in range. Uh, it's is it not Mega? What? Are you not Mega Steelix? Is there a reason why you didn't Mega? Okay, I'm about to say. Yeah, but throws off an Earthquake. This allows me to get in Glide Score, and I can go for my own Earthquake. A Max Attack, so it should do a good chunk uh, as he brings out Telekiss. So, this is fine. Um, turns out he's a Leftovers variant. I can just start SDing up, I believe. Uh, Adamant, Max Attack. Again, I'll be doing a good, a, a good chunk to him. And um, he's smart to go out into Decidueye right there. Kind of wish I had Ice Fang, but either way, we have Telekiss in range of... Um, we have Telekiss in range... Of a boosted Breloom. I like it. It can't come in on bullets if I get five hits. Obviously, you know, that's well, that's five hits, right? But the interesting thing is, like, my Sylveon in this game is gonna do one thing, which is check Terrakion and uh, Hydreigon. Besides that, it doesn't do much, kind of loses to everything else. Uh, this thing could very well be SD. I don't know. I'm gonna go for Earthquake here, actually, because I'm pretty sure this is a 2 KO Decidueye. And if I'm Decidueye, yeah, I go for my Z, but Decidueye is such a Annoying Pokemon for me to deal with. He left. Did he actually leave? Like, is he back? That boy left. Now, the thing is, he could have Sucker Punch here. Um, and if I was my opponent too, I would also expect potentially a Roost on my side. Um, so I'm actually going to go for Double Earthquake, expecting the Leaf Blade predicting me to Roost. Like I said, he could have Sucker Punch here. Um, yep, so he does go for Leaf Blade, more than likely predicting me to Roost right there. We're able to get rid of the Sidueye, awesome. Um, Hydreigon's gonna come out, and I have a beautiful, beautiful switch in in Sylveon. And he already uses Z, so we know this Hydreigon cannot touch me. Lovely. He should bring out Tentacron now. Uh, either way, I wish pass into my uh, Steam Eruption Mon, which is my Defogger, uh, which actually beats a lot of his team too. He doesn't appreciate going in on it. And he goes right for Skull too. So I'm able to bring out Vavimu Canyon and uh, we'll just throw off a Steam Eruption and he's just going to spin. I beat him 1v1 in theory as long as I get a burn. And I do. Beautiful. 
So we can defog right now. If he wants to go Hydreigon, that's no big deal. Uh, getting rid of the rocks for my Sylveon. He is 100% going to U-turn here too. Or Flash Cannons, breaking Sylveon. And I know that's Choice Lock too. So uh, get some beautiful damage off on Hydreigon as well. And a burn. Really, really nice. And this should allow me to go out to Gliscor right here. I uh, wasn't expecting Togekiss. Honestly, was expecting Tentacruel, and I wanted some Poison Heal recovery so I can come in later and do some damage. But because he went Togekiss, I can get him my Aggron on the Air Slash. Get him my Rocks uh, one more time. He shouldn't be staying in on me no matter what. Like, he, he should not be staying in. He should always go Tentacruel, and at least I can force the, uh, the spin. Surprise, he went Terrakion. Um, close combat is annoying. Hmm. I guess Gliscor is the most expendable member. I don't want to go Harlotti. That boy is straight up Scarf. Nice. So, we're bringing Lottie, and what I'm actually going to do is double out into my Breloom, expecting him to want to bring out the uh, Steelix, because um, this would give me a Spore. Actually, he could double close combat here, too. Maybe I shouldn't predict the Steelix, since it's not necessary. Yeah, we'll just Psychic. Um... Because I, I definitely see something like Agron putting in the work for me regardless of what he does. And I can always bring in my Shuckaberry Volcanion and not care about what he's going to do. Why do you keep dis disconnecting, bro? I'm not worried about what I'm assuming is Bandit Terrakion because it, it has to lock itself into Edge, which won't Oko Sylveon from full. It'll do a lot. Uh, Bandit Stone Edge, that's one of the reasons why, you know, defensive Sylveon isn't so good. Bandit Edge isn't doing as much. Um, but... Yeah, Latias being able to reliably check something like Terrakion and the fact that, uh, unless it's like Wish Togekiss, um, which I believe it does have access to, uh, the Steelix won't be getting a recovery, so whenever I go for Psychic, something is getting weakened, and Hydreigon has like three switch-ins left with Stealth Rock plus Burn. And I can always defog, and my Rocker's still alive, so... That boy might just lose. Uh, but as you can see, the way Sylveon did was it came in on Hydreigon, which is exactly what it's supposed to do. And it also forced my opponent to, well, I thought he would do turn, but he ended up going for, you know, Flash Cannon, which opened up the door for Volcanion and gave it that opportunity to uh, actually get the burn and also get another burn on Tentacruel. So looks like we win this game. Um, but that's what Sylveon was going to do the entire game, just come in on Hydreigon the entire time. Flash Cannon was going to do crap, by the way. It wasn't going to do anything. So now... Is this now the fun ones? So we have Z-Yawn, uh, defensive Sylveon. Now, I think that with Pixelate, Yawn becomes Fairy-type, so this gives it the plus one speed plus a Yawn, and I can go for Combine after. If that's not the case, whatever, I go for Yawn and Combine, I don't really care. Uh, we have defensive Aggron with Low Kick, um, Bandit Scizor, Scarf Dragon, Toxic, Defog Gliscor, and then uh, Mega Manetric. So let's see if we can get like a breakthrough with this Pokemon. Uh, it looks like we have a matchup for it. He has everything that's faster than me. Is going to always be faster than me. <laughs> that's funny. I'm going to spit on Gliscor too. I'm leading off with it. Yeah, it leads Pert. This is why I wanted to lead off with it. Uh, ideally, it doesn't burn me immediately. Wait, did I use this team? Is this Specs Pert? All right, hey, cool. So I get the Toxic off immediately, which is amazing. And because I'm max but death, I'll be able to eat every hit. Uh, smart man to go superior right there because that is a, a giant threat on the default as he goes for sub a um, little bit worried about this mon uh, but thankfully he went for leech seed over HP fire won't be able to oko me not from this range yeah so uh, don't agree with that play on my opponent's part Everybody, well, I don't know if everybody knows, but you need Stealth Rock plus a little bit more on Scizor to knock it out with unboosted HP Fire. That's one of the drawbacks to Superior. But getting rid of that giant threat, absolutely amazing. Uh, now he only have two Pokemon that outspeed my Sylveon when I go for my plus one boost. Um, well, potentially Primarina, I guess, as well. Hmm. Mm. If I, okay, so if I go Gliscor, he's bringing out Primarina. If I go Manetric, uh, I think that I force in Swampert, which is fine, uh, because I, I want to Mega Evolve. Yeah, I'm going to Mega Evolve right here, as he actually doubles out to Primarina. I, I, did, I expected him either to Stealth Rock or not go for Earthquake. That's basically that. That's why I made that play. Uh, but this, is, this does give me a Volt Switch as he goes per. And the reason I want to Mega Evolve is because Scissor could be a problem. So if I can use this thing as a pivot just once, that'd be amazing for me. So we're bringing Gliscor here. As he gets up his rocks, uh, no big deal. That's two turns of poison. And then Primarina should be able to come out. Yep. 
Scissor's Bullet Punch is still kind of cool in this, but I don't really have a switch in to Hydro Pump, so I'm going to sack my uh, Gliscor right here. As he goes for Scald. I already went for my Z-Move. Did I not? No. Oh, okay, so it doesn't work that way. Okay, okay, okay. So now we know. I should live a bandit. I'm max defense. So now we know it doesn't work that way. Um, I thought it did. So we should. this should be normal MZ. Okay, that's fine. A little bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, combine boosted, HP fire. Able to dunk on that scissor and that boy forfeited. Woo! He actually wasn't going to be able to beat this Sylveon. <laughs> okay, I don't know if he's coming back, but this is a plus one Sylveon. Alright, so the more we know now. I, I thought that was a little bit suspicious because for hidden power, in hidden power's sake, like hidden power is always breaking that blitz even if it is like another move. So hidden power fire would not be uh, Inferno Overdrive. It would always be breaking that blitz. So I kind of had a feeling it would be something like that. Uh, but I thought maybe I was wrong. Um, but yeah, beautiful. I understand him messing too because Combine Sylveon is typically Wish Protect, uh, Hyper Voice, and Heal Bell. Um, it could run HP Fire, though that's something that could definitely happen, but uh, it looks like Sylveon put in the work that it needed to right there, and him sacking Superior so early was huge. Like, he literally can't beat this Pokemon now. Uh, I'm pretty sure, based on his team composition, it's Scarf Lottie, which can't trick me, because I'm running Fairy MZ. Um, Swampert is 2 at KO'd. Uh, Primarina gets blown away as well. It doesn't go down, but it gets put to the point where my Scarf Hydreigon just wins by clicking Dark Pulse. And I still have a Mega Aggron, which can always take on Lottie, so... We take those. Not bad. Alright, Ultra Player passed me a team. I'm pretty sure this is the cursed one, isn't it? Is this cursed, Sylveon? Oh no, this is Specs. Okay, so this one hits hard. And I love how it has Moonblast plus Hyper Voice. Makes sense for Soundproof Como running around. Uh, we have Scarf Mag to trap the Scizors. We have Zoroark with Aerial Ace for Heracross. Um, as well as Mega Aerodactyl. Uh, Aer Aerial Ace always, also hits Breloom, duh. Uh, Needle King and um, Latias. Fun dude. So, was it not? Oh, I didn't do it. Hey man. <laughs> What's up, Johnny? Alright, so I'm gonna lead, um, I'm gonna lead, Zor I'm actually gonna lead Zoroark, and I'm gonna try and disguise it as Needle King, because I think that forces, uh, for example, like, Manetric not to do its thing. I'm gonna try it. But John was in your stream a few times. Clean. I remember the name. Uh, so this is a bad matchup for me. Because uh, I don't want to switch in. And if he goes for U-turn 2, it's pretty bad as well. So I'm always going to go Sylveon here. Um, unfortunately, that does give him the Breloom as a switch in. I don't have... It doesn't necessarily give him Breloom. Um, Sylveon, fam. So I couldn't stay in there because of the fact that I was obviously Zoroark and I didn't want the Skies to be busted. I also don't switch in too out of this mod. But we're going to attempt to trap it right now, since this is his rocker, or should be his rocker. It could also be a salt vest. I, I don't really care if he predicts my um, mag and goes for an attack, though. Yeah, it just goes for rock, so. Uh, well, Thunderbolt, just for a little bit of damage, I get a crit and a para, as Earthquake is going to knock me out. And it looks like he's uh, leftovers, so um, I'll be able to bring my Needle King now. I kind of want to go for rocks. I feel like that's still smart. Especially because I feel like it pressures in with Sylveon. I'm going to go for my rock. Uh, there's a chance he gets paralyzed anyway. And or that. My bad, man. That, that, that was a chance. Like, I was willing to take that just because of the fact that um, rocks are going to main that Lottie can pretty much dunk on him as well. We'll go for Earth Power here. As he goes, Gliscor. Gliscor does not knock me out from that range with Ice Beam or for Earthquake. As he goes, Tentacruel. Uh, Tentacruel has to be Hydro Pump to do damage to me. So you will not knock me out. He can spin all he wants, but I get rid of Tentacruel, which is going to open up that door for Sylveon. So the two resistances are going down. Uh, Glasker comes back out. You still shouldn't be able to knock me out unless he crits, but you know that's okay because I, uh, I got the crit on him too. I dodged. It's okay. <laughs> Alright, Spec Sylveon, do your thing. I want to see no switchings on my opponent's side of the field. Medgar's going to get two at KO'd. I think this thing might get blown back too, because it's not Spadef. Ooh, Spec Sylveon picking up that KO. Not even bad. Breloom comes out. 
That's gonna bullet seed. That's gonna ult on me. That's fine though. We're bringing Lottie. Hit that boy up with a knockoff, anticipating him to want to bring out the Metagross. Actually, actually, Aerial Ace here. Yeah, because even if he goes, uh... Unfortunately, I revealed that I'm Zoroark, but even if he went out to that... I should have knocked, because I could Draco and win. Well, either way, Zoroark gets his job. I'm, I'm just happy that Sylveon got the KO right there. Um, Like, really, really, really happy that Sylveon got that KO right there. I don't know if it's Focus Sash Umbrella. It could be. Because he was really... He really, 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 really wanted to get rid of those rocks. So it could be Focus Ash Braylon. Makes sense. I don't know if you go... I don't think you go main here. You go either Braylon to Mock Punch me, or you go Hydreigon to drop a Draco. I think those are your only two plays. Losing Sylveon sucked, but I didn't have a Braylon switching. Like, Braylon would... Uh, Sylveon would have been my Hydreigon switching, and when it came in, it could have got a kill. But if Braylon messed it, I couldn't win. Especially with Metagross still being alive. Like I said, I'm just happy that Sylveon ended up picking up a KO. On Gliscor at that. Like, a max HP Gliscor just dropped. I'll be even happier when we have the uh, the Sash ones. So goes that Dragon. Knock off here as he drops to Draco. I'll be able to do the uh, exact same thing. Knock out the Hydreigon. If main wants to come out, nah, I got I got to switch. Do I have Psychic on this one or Psy Shock? Psy Shock. Ah, uh, that's a little bit worse for me. Yeah, having Psy Shock is worse. Psychic with a two AKO Metric, Psy Shock doesn't. Um, hmm. I'm pretty sure he still wins. Yeah. If I stay in here and he sleeps me. That doesn't matter, he just bullet seeds. Yeah, he's just to be able to win right now. Uh, unless it's actually not Sash Loom, and then my Latias gets pretty lucky. Um, and crits the Manetric. Oh, it's Ban Loom. Oh, okay. No wonder it did 40. So I still have to crit Manetric, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'll live in HP Ice, but I don't think that my Psy Shock 2 KO is main. Because it has good defenses. Uh-oh. Rolls? There's no way I'm doing 50 again. Good game, man. I did it. Woo! Lottie able to win. So it was Ban Loom. Okay, that makes sense, too. I think I was underestimating Sylveon's bulk, but then again, Sylveon doesn't have very much bulk to begin with. Um, but I thought Sash Loom, based on the way that he was really, really, really adamant about um, rapid spinning away those hazards, like to sack Tentacruel to Nido King just to rapid spin. All right, Pinky Lure passing the team with Curse, which protects Sylveon. <laughs> We have Gradium Z, Home Claws Lottie for Alolan Muck to help this thing out. We have Specs Mag to get rid of Sidor. We have Lai Noon to, <laughs> to hopefully break through everything. Calm my Reuniclus with Trick Room. Okay. And then we have Shuckaberry. Yo, this entire team is lures to try and get Sylveon to do something. <laughs> that is funny. That is funny. Come on, Sylveon. I just want you to do one thing. I just need Curse Sylveon to get one KO with Quick Attack. And it needs to be like on a Terrakion or something that, that's, you know, that can beat it. What I hope is we fight a Combine Latios and it's Combine Psy Shock. So it comes down to Combine Latios and he thinks he beats me because, you know, I'm Sylveon. But, and I'm just a, re a regular Wish one. But I start cursing so his Psy Shock does nothing. And then I Quick Attack to finish him off. Goals. That is actually the goal. Hopefully we can get something like that. How are we this high on the ladder? What is happening? <laughs> We're number 23. <laughs> I'm really surprised I was able to 2-8 KO the... Um, I'm really surprised I was able to 2-8 KO the... Uh, the Manetric. That's weird, man. I wasn't expecting that at all. Yeah, like, Psychic does so much, but Psy Shock? I must have had, like, two really good rolls. Because Manetric has decent defense. Or at least it feels like Manetric has decent defense because of Intimidate. Yeah, base 80. Oh, it's sim on this size. Yeah, oh, okay, okay. It was guaranteed. Um, not guaranteed. It's 98% chance to 2 a KO. Wow, I didn't realize it did that much. I thought it took it better. <gasps> and this is the perfect matchup for, uh, for you. 
Nice, nice, nice. Alright, we're gonna lead Lottie, and I'm gonna try. I'm assuming it's Scarf 8 based on the team composition. I'm gonna try and do something right now. Uh, Curse Sylveon can probably not beat anything. Wow, this entire team beats down Sylveon. Uh, but Linoon is really good. So, yeah. If he leads Infernape and I lead Lottie, there's no way he, uh. There's no way he, he stays in, I feel. He always switches. Leads Serp. Gonna Home Claws raise my accuracy. That's so obvious, right? I don't care. <laughs> we go for it. Woo! Plus one Tectonic Rage Latias. Let's go. Muck is gone. Awesome. That means my Latias is freed up. Um, also, the fact that this Latias is super solid versus him is really nice, too. We can trap Empoleon with Mag. That's awesome. Okay, so Tectonic Rage Latias picking up a KO already. I'm already stoked about it. Yeah, I'm hyped. I'm hype, I'm glad. By the way guys, for those that pass me teams and I don't end up using them, I, I do apologize. It's not that I don't want to use all your teams, because I do, but I want like specific things to be done while we're doing this, right? And I feel like this particular thing can show off this a little bit better than maybe something else. That did 25. So we're going to uh, Empoleon because there's no way he Earthquakes here. If anything, he'll Toxic. I can also Defog and whatnot, get on my own rocks too. He actually did Earthquake. Wow. What a play. Phenomenal. Okay, go ahead and cast his Scald. You go Serp. Uh, I'm pretty weak to Serp, actually. So I don't mind you letting me weaken this thing. Awesome. So like I said, I'm pretty weak to Serp, unfortunately. Uh, but Specs Mag is also really nice versus him, too. I don't care if he goes Ape ever, either. I'm going to click this uh, Spec Splash Cannon. We basically have a Powder in a range of plus 6. Uh, if this Empoleon is actually Shooka Berry and not Leftovers, we're good versus it too. It is Leftovers though, unfortunately. That's alright though. Because we have Young Reuniclus right now. Just Shadow Ball. I'm Regenerator Reuniclus too. I just realized that. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. On this type of team, it makes sense. Um, Telekis comes out. I'm a side shock here because I'd expect me to go mag here, and I'm assuming that's not Z Telekis, but actually it could be Z. Um, but I I'd go like Infernape predicting mag and then try and close combat through or Flare Blitz. Fire Blast works too. That is a specs as hell. Straight up specs. Okay. Don't need this thing anymore, so I'm gonna sack it because I don't want him going. Uh, don't want him going hippo. Hmm. Home claws raise my accuracy. Is that hippo having that chance to flinch? That's fire. Is that hippo having that chance to flinch? It's flames. Twenty percent chance to flinch. Hold up. At the end of the day, I can try belly drum with Lightning like at the uh, like to win. Uh, everything's in range of it. Even if hippo ends up breaking through this, uh, ideally it doesn't, of course, but. Toekis is also messed up. What's your last move, dude? What is your last move? Is it Toxic? Is it Ice Fang? Like, what is it? It is Ice Fang. Oh, you don't have Roar, my man. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh oh, you don't have Roar. It's really bad for you. Put Earthquake. <laughs> Random Earthquake. Nah, is that how it always hits everything? And then I can always Earthquake and pull it after. So, him not having Roar is actually huge, I think. I think that's really big. Because that means that Linoon should be able to knock him out at plus 6 with Zen, uh, Z Bomb. I'm going to just calc that. Um, Linoon. Plus 6. Even if they sassy. Hip Powdon. 
Damn, some physical defensive it does that much. That's crazy. Go ahead and take that. Not bad. Okay, young Sylveon. Go ahead and pick up that KO right now. There's no way this doesn't KO. There is no way this does not KO. There we go. Quick attack, Sylveon. Picking up the KO on Surf. Not even bad. What you going for now? Fire move? Your scarf? He's nasty plot. Your game, boys. The game is over. I should have just quick attacked. That did some good damage. Hold up. Hold up. That did some good damage. And if he's life form, not Z. If we dodge another one. That's amazing. Extreme speed knocks him out. I win. <laughs> I win because of quick attack Sylvia on dodging. I should just quick attacked repeatedly. But I thought it might have been like a banded ape going for flare blitz. Oh, that doesn't matter. Go ahead and catch his next quick attack. Keep clicking it, buddy. Yeah, ape is in range of extreme speed, I'm pretty sure. Also, because I'm Wish, I don't know if he can actually beat me with Hippo. Actually, he should be able to. Let me wish pass. <laughs> we win this. Sylvia, I'm being able to give uh, Lainun the win. Because at the end of the game, I mean, either way, I'm going to win because I get plus six right now. But I'm pretty sure the standard hippo that they have down here dies. Because if Fizdef, if Fizdef dies, this is the mix wall. C-Bomb is 89 to 105. Actually, that's not a lot. But with the Wish, I might actually be able to take two. He went for Ice Fang Freeze. Didn't get it. With the Wish, I take two. Yep. That doesn't matter. Shout out to the Wish being able to let me take it. Shout out to Sylveon. Uh-oh. Big shout out to Sylveon, man. Not even bad. Paving the way for Linoon to win. Awesome. Definitely with luck, too. Dodging Fire Blast on Inferno was huge. I put him in range of, I think, an unboosted extreme speed. Or it made him, like, if he stayed in, he couldn't do anything about it. Good B, buddy. We know your leftovers. And Line Noon is able to pick up the uh, KO on Inferno because extreme speed is way higher priority than vacuum wave. Not bad. Nice. Nice. What's my last one? Velcro, it's a, uh, oh, it's just a standard one with, um, Celebrate Shaman and, oh, okay. I didn't realize it was another standard one. I Fire Blast miss. Yep, it sucked. Nothing I could do about it, though. How much did, uh, Inferno take? Extreme Speed was still a roll. Uh, yeah, it's a roll in your favor, though. Yeah. E Speed was a roll. In your favor. Ah, nice. Nice, nice. Okay. I, I honestly, honestly, I don't even want to use the other Sylveon again. I don't. I think that was fire. Velrock, I'll use your team later because I, I'll plan on having like a whole, um, I plan on having this whole like montage video to not celebrate Shaman, but since Shaman did get celebrated, if you guys didn't know, uh, it has access to the Z move celebrate and Z celebrate gives you plus one plus one plus one So I made an RU team. Um, I have an ubers team and now I have a UU team right here I think I'm gonna save it for that because I think you guys know at least what defensive Sylveon does uh, If you weren't clear like in the first game it stops uh, Dragon Tice from spamming Draco resist the dark pulse it forced my my opponent's Hydreigon to actually end up going for um Flash Cannon, which wouldn't have done crap. Like I said, there's like 40% to Sylveon. It's ridiculous how bulky this Pokemon is. But I think I'm going to end it there. Uh, again, because I don't feel like using a regular Sylveon after Curse Sylveon. Even though we didn't get to Curse up. But Quick Attack on Sylveon actually ended up helping me a lot. So I do hope you guys all enjoyed. Of course, if you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, you can check out my tournament games that were uploaded earlier today. And I will see you guys next time. Uh, Velrock, I'll be using your team more likely in my shaman video coming up if not this sunday monday most likely so goodbye my friends